hello again everyone and welcome back to another video today we are looking at the cxc c set pass paper january 2020 paper 2 so let us begin many metals undergo corrosion when exposed to certain conditions figure 2 shows an experiment where iron nails are exposed to different conditions so we have three test tubes in test tube a the nail is in water and air in test tube b it is in boiled water however oil is at the top of it and in test tube c there there's no water and it is the nail is in dry air so let us look at the questions state two conditions necessary for the corrosion of a metal the first condition is the presence of air which is oxygen in this case and the next condition is the presence the presence of moisture which is water in this case which is water part two state whether corrosion will occur for each of the test tube shown in figure two give one reason to support your answer in each case test tube a it has oxygen it has air and it has water so we expect test tube a to corrode will undergo corrosion undergo corrosion why in test tube a it contains or the nail is surrounded by the nail is surrounded by air and water air and moisture or water in test tube b will it corrode so let us look at test tube b here you have the water being boiled and oil sits above the water it will not corrode boil water boiling removes any dissolved gases from the water from the, the solution and in that case there will the, the the condition is not favorable for corrosion so in test tube b it will not undergo corrosion very important and why the boiling removes boiling removes oxygen from the solution so that's one reason why no corrosion will take place there in test tube C dry air and, and we have the nail no corrosion will take place because all the condition all the conditions that are needed for corrosion to take place were removed and so the nail is sitting there in dry air will not so test tube C will not undergo corrosion undergo corrosion and why there are there are not any 
air or moisture present. So there aren't any air or moisture present in test tube C, so we will not observe any corrosion taking place there. Part 3. Such as the reason why the boiled water was covered with oil in test tube B. The oil act as a barrier from oxygen entering the solution. solution so that's the reason for the oil over the on top of the water sitting on top of the water there all right let's just look at part b now aluminum has been used in the manufacture of various alloys because of its corrosion resistant properties state one alloy of aluminum and its use one alloy of aluminum is duralumin. And it's used to make aircraft. Part 2. Explain why. Explain why the corrosion of aluminum is beneficial. When aluminum, when aluminum corrodes, it forms a protective coating for the metal. It forms a protective coating for the metal for the aluminum metal. And because it's two marks, so we can give two pointers, two main pointers. And another one is that when aluminum corrodes, the coating is very attractive. very attractive and appealing so there are other reasons but those two can work for now you may have different reasons part three write a balance equation to show the product form when aluminum is left exposed to air when aluminum is left exposed to air, then this is the reaction, aluminum solid plus oxygen, which is the air we are talking about, gas, remember it is important to have your state symbols, and that forms aluminum oxide, Al2O3. solid let us balance the equation so we have on the right hand side of the equation there are two aluminums and three oxygen so let us put a three right here and a two goes right there so a four should be here to balance the equation All right, so we have come to the end of this video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Help us to get to a thousand subscribers. Thank you for watching. Happy studying.